Okay. So, Mr. McNeil, this actually isn't showing up very well. Whatever. Okay, so it's a circular moving path, and because of inertia, this path is always being pulled in to center. <coughs> to find centripetal acceleration, And to find the force, the centripetal force, <laughs> okay, it's a pretty basic concept here. Velocity moves this way. Acceleration is this way. <clears throat> okay, so here's the problem. Okay, so here's our orbit. Velocity is moving this way, acceleration this way, and <coughs> it's moving around in the orbit. So <coughs> we have our line acceleration going here. It's a point. 4.23 to 10 to the 7 meters away from the Earth's center. So, to find acceleration, do V squared over R, and we get V squared over 4.23 times 10 to the 7. <coughs> So, then, we, 2 pi r, 
and we can substitute this into here. And when we calculate that, we get this number. So, what we're going to do is divide this by 24 hours from Earth rotation times this to get that number in seconds. So, our ending result, velocity equals 30,761.42802. So then, we divide this by the radius. And find that comes to about twenty two point three seven is the acceleration. felt by a geo synchronous satellite.